In this video, I want to show you how to create uh, an evergreen product launch. Okay, so you go to Profits Team, Launch Options, and you click Evergreen Launch. Okay, select Evergreen Launch. Evergreen Launch is also known as Perpetual Launch or an ongoing launch or a fake launch. Okay, so uh, Launch Gateway Squeeze Page. Now, before you watch this video, it is highly recommended that you watch the other video about the standard launch, uh, how to create a standard product launch. Okay, once you have uh, watched that video, you can continue watching this video about the evergreen launch because the two are related. And then I'm not going to go over some of the things that I've that I've gone over in that video. So this video is going to be fast. Okay, so. I highly recommend that you watch the standard launch video first before you watch this evergreen launch. Okay, so once again, the evergreen launch is an ongoing uh, product launch where there, there is no fixed date and the launch is fake. So uh, subscriber A and subscriber B is going to have different uh, dates on when the pre-launch content becomes available for them. So each specific individual, each of your subscriber, subscriber will have different dates on which they can view uh, specific contents okay so you choose evergreen launch and you choose a launch gateway squeeze page and you can check or uncheck the enable force opt-in most people check this box which means that if you enable the force opt-in uh, this means that the all the non-subscribers who that try to view your launch content will be redirected here to whatever you specified here in this case uh, I've, cre I've already created the product launch squeeze page okay so uh, whenever I check the enable force opt-in uh, whenever people who haven't subscribed to my list yet they want to view the launch content let's say they know for some reason they know the direct URL the direct URL to the launch content they won't be able to do so because uh, it's going to be they're going to be redirected to to my product launch squeeze page here okay okay so uh, next thing is launch funnel navigation settings do you want to show or don't show upcoming pages uh, most marketers most people show upcoming pages which I highly recommend you to do so as well show upcoming pages to give your uh, subscribers uh, teaser some teaser content and they can expect what to uh, they can expect what is coming on your next launch content okay so this is the launch sequence okay so you can uh, add and remove launch pages okay just for the sake of demonstration purposes let's say I remove all these launch pages it's going to remove whatever is uh, here so there you go it doesn't have any more launch pages in your sequence so you have to select uh, which pages you want to show uh, to include in this launch sequence okay I choose in this example I choose the launch content 1 2 and sales page okay uh, so the product launch squeeze pages uh, squeeze pages uh, not included in typically not included in, in your launch sequence okay and the sales page Okay, squeeze page is not included in your launch sequence typically and the sales page is typically included uh, in, in your launch sequence as the uh, as the last step of the launch sequence so I click uh, I choose the pages that I want to include I click add launch pages Okay, once I've done that, yeah, launch sequence pages that I've just selected appears here and you can uh, drag and drop to arrange the order. So I want the uh, launch sales page to be the last launch sequence. So I drag it to the very bottom and the product launch content one, I want to be the first pre-launch content that my subscribers receive. So I drag and drop it to the very top. Okay, and I can click on the settings and I can uh, specify a title here. And also an, an image here and I click save settings whenever I'm done with uh, editing my settings here again be sure to refer back to the uh, to the standard launch video that I've created because I'm not going to explain everything again here 
okay so please watch that video first okay once I have uh, updated my settings I want to click save settings save settings save settings okay and then I need to click save changes at the very bottom Okay, once I've done that, I will be given a thank you page URL. So what do you do with this thank you page URL? Well, I've already included that in your in the text manual down below. Okay. Now, to deliver your product launch content at predetermined intervals, okay, after your subscribers opt in, of course, you need to use your autoresponder to set up emails to be sent on that day you want subscribers to view your content so uh, for example I have two pre-launch content okay two, two pre-launch content and one sales page content and I want them to view each of these every day so I will set up my autoresponder messages to the following content one okay uh, day one Okay, one day after your subscribers opted in, I will send an autoresponder messages, autoresponder message to, and give them uh, the link. Okay, the link here, this one. Okay, I want to give them the link here for my, uh, and my day one autoresponder. In this example, I will give uh, content one. I will say something like, "Hey, dear subscriber." Uh, thank you for subscribing you can view content number one here and you give them this link here okay and day number two I will give them the link to content number two and the content number two link can be found here okay if you see on the bottom left of your screen that is the link that you want to copy and paste into your autoresponder day two and the sales page link is of course this one okay look on the bottom left of your screen that is a sales page link okay for the content your first content sequence your first content sequence which is the product launch content one in this example you want to in your autoresponder number one you want to give them the link here okay instead of uh, just copying this link here you want to give them this thank you page URL link for your first launch content. 